Well, this is a good start to the day. Nearly 400 quid's worth of stuff is going to be in this box. Um, they have double boxed it and it's got bubble wrap in it, so hopefully the only thing that's been wet from yesterday by the looks of it, because this box is just damp now. The driver did apologise. Apparently it was lying on the depot floor which is obviously soaking wet and muddy from all the trucks going in. Not impressed with Hatton's, well, it's not Hatton's fault, it's DPD. And delivery predictably dangerous, or whatever they want to call. Um, yeah. Oh well, here we go for another boring unboxing video. Well, I thought I'd just change batteries and that's on knackered as well. Well, the damp's only just started to breach the box by the looks of it. Well, it's always good, as I've said before, to have your delivery note at the top so that you can check everything off as you're unboxing it. Except, um, there's no delivery note at the top of the box. Well, a few bits. And pieces. Some... Mm, well, I'm not sort of too aggrieved with anything. Um, nice intercity mark three in here. That's fairly clean. That was an auction one of I have a couple of the old uh, bullet tankers. Again, they were auction. They were about twenty six, twenty seven pounds each. A couple of UF mark threes for my uh, one two five. And I did manage to get a Lima power car for, oh, I think it was £25. So I can double end my uh, Lima one. Some HEAs in here. They weren't, uh, they were a bit below what they go for on eBay. But they look okay. I haven't gone through and checked anything yet. This looks a nice one. Hope they're going to be good when they make an effort with the packaging. It's still got the limited edition certificate. Um, to go with the vehicle theme. I also got this one, although the cab's a bit modern truck for my sort of era I'm going for. Uh, I thought, well, I can always do a bit of Code 3 and with this, if I pick another lorry body up, I can swap the cabs. Or swap the body to a more appropriate age truck. And this one, I can't remember what this was, about £10, £11. I think it did have a bent axle, which I've pushed back for now. Because obviously it doesn't really matter. They're a static display thing anyway, aren't they? But this was a American gondola. It looks awful. It's got a lead shock hot glued in or something. The only reason I wanted it was <laughs> for that bloody clip to put on that hopper car I've got because you can't buy those clips over here. I can't find anywhere. I only found one seller on eBay US which they did send me a private offer of £3.45 for a pair. But it was £11 shipping and tax so about £15, £16. <laughs> to buy a metal clip um, so I'm keeping my nice. so I just went back on that and I thought I'll just buy the doggiest, crappiest, cheapest, shittiest truck they got which I've done for £4 so looks like it might have you know, whether they're Backman Easy Cuplings or KD but uh, yeah so it's just going to be a donor although I could cut them off and put a couple of the KD draft boxes on in place but it's a bit of an oldie, older period than uh, what I model, but hey ho. So we got that, whatever's left of it. I did buy a JCB, but it's too modern for me. When I saw it, it was advertised as a C3X, I thought, mm, it's the old one, but click, buy it now. Damn sight cheaper than an Oxford one. And I just got it out and thought, oh, it's the new one. Hmm, so I think I might get rid of that. HO containers, 
which will come in handy for my US well cars. Um, and to go with those there is a container style site office kit which is six of those. Again they weren't bad money, I can't remember without going through the sheet. And also around about the same time was these Electro Tren 20 foot 8 piece container set. Which again will fit the uh, US whale cars. Uh, I'll cover the packages. There's one of them in there I'm a bit pissed off about that the fact of the value of it they just shoved it in a jiffy bag. A um, couple of the wheels, parapet kits, they were a pound cheaper than you know normal RRP. Um, I bought them because I've got a couple of scratch ideas in uh, in the in the offing. Uh, a set of the old Backman lifts. They were considerably cheaper than their RRP. They look nice, but honestly, <laughs> what Backman want for these? Um, they're a piss take price. Um, some of these, these were, well, none of them were more than £8. I think they were 6 7 and one of them was 8 Um I've got to check for everything still because I'm sure there was more than two packs of people. And a model power one, which is just sort of, well, general workers or track workers. Obviously it's got an American-esque theme there, but the little high-vis tabards are 1980s UK style so uh, they could be adapted for a scene and again the arches I've been after another pack of those again for another scratch building idea these were a couple of quid I think which is just the uh, vac formed corrugated obviously you could leave them clear for translucent sheeting or um, paint them up to give them a rusty look. Um, I bought these because they were a pound cheaper than buying them from Sea Rail, which are their transfers to put on their plane containers because I'm going to buy some Sea Rail double O gauge um, containers in the future for my Backman Intermodals. Um, this was advertised as a Hornby lighting kit. It was I can't remember, four pounds something. It wasn't dear, but the picture was wrong for the description because it showed well indeed what it's got in there, which has got f all to do with lighting. It's a couple of basic signals, so I did think that they may have effed up, but no, well they have because they've obviously put wrong description because no one actually read or interpreted. The fact that obviously someone's just put a few Hornby bits in a box that's probably labelled as a lighting kit, but in fact has got signals in it, which is what they photographed, but they have described it as a lighting kit. Clearly, some of the staff they've got there are just, they know nothing about the product, the industry they're working in, which isn't uncommon nowadays, but. Um, Either way, I thought, well, I haven't seen any Hornby stuff close up for so long. It is a little bit over scale, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, well, we'll ponder that one. I might keep them, I might not. I won't lose on them, put it that way, but, uh, yeah, a bit, um, bit odd advertising it as a lighting kit when you're sitting there photographing it and quite clearly. There's not even a bulb there to describe it as a lighting kit, is there? But, um, yep, so we went and got some KD couplings. Unfortunately, I need number fives and I haven't got any at the minute. So, a couple of the Code 100 magnets um, that fit under the track, I believe. They'll probably be in the staging yard. Um, I think these are Type 28, Type 26 KD. And I did get one of the... Uh, I don't know what you call it, a mounting jig. There's a little box frame that sits on the rail so that you can get your heights 
um, for your couplings. The only thing is, I don't know whether it's complete because they couldn't be bothered to put a bit of sellotape on it or check the contents. They had four or five of them available, I only bought one because obviously you don't really need one, but it would have been nice if they'd have sent the sealed one. A bit much to ask, I guess. Um, some more ratio sheet plastic for building bits and pieces. So, if you're still with us, what we got now? Yeah, this was a, a knocked up raw mail coach because I want a few, but I can't find them for reasonable money. It's only Blackman on offer, which are beyond what I want to pay. So, this looks like a, a bit of a humbrew Lima conversion. That side's not as good. But uh, yeah, pending finding something better at a later stage, and then I might get rid of this one. Not seen those. Got uh, hair fix bogies on that. They're not Lima, are they? Not with those small couplings. Don't know. But yeah, they could have um, put a little bit more filling in there, I guess. But uh, it'll do for now. Well, it won't really matter to me, will it? I haven't got to lay it or run it on anyway. So, the thing that interested me was these kits. Um, they're a lot more money. I think I paid £5 each one. They're all um, obviously a rigid, not very... Um, I think they've just sort of done a generic looking lorry because obviously if they'd have done, they would have probably breached some kind of copyright. Or something. Yeah, what have we got? So it is a proper P way lorry, with, which you don't seem to be able to buy, other than the Oxford one, which is a Bedford TK, which obviously after the 1980s they were using Dodgers and Leyland Roadrunners, not Bedfords. So there is a company online that I've found that can you can buy like a kit chassis, a kit cab and then an appropriate body. But they do work out quite expensive the time you've bought it all and then you've got to buy your decals and your paint. So these you can build as a obviously fixed because it's all die cast kit. So I thought well I've got nothing to lose. £5 each, I think they were considerably less than you can find them, if you can still find them. So it's a British Rail Peeway lorry. Model includes interior detail, driver, more than you get with the back one now. Glazing and transfers, so all I'm going to have to do is glue it all up, paint it. Well, no doubt into the Jiffy bags, £6.74. And six pounds, which is cheap for one of these because they normally make 10 12 pounds, 12 15 if they're in a box. Um, I'm thinning down on these now because I've pretty much got enough for what I want. This one, not so much into Tilcon, but because it was a reasonable price, I can obviously um, pinch the good chassis and put it on a body I do want. Um, so it could go either way, could keep it and use it as it is, or it might be a, a body swap. Here's one I'm not so impressed with, uh, it was the Lilliput, um, i sure you recognise it, it's the same as the Backman one, because Backman owned Lilliput, plus a little crane truck, 17 quid for a static model, yeah. And they shoved it in a jiffy bag with all those fragile parts on it. Thankfully, it's all still there. But, um, yeah, if I'd have seen it in the flesh and picked it up at a toy fair, I would not have parted with 17 quid for it. It is completely plastic. 
It's almost like the Kibri kit one rather than a lily put one. But yeah, just checking there it is lily put. Um, I did think of you to possibly try to motorise it. But looking at it, I don't think it's a very feasible job to get a motor underneath it. I don't know what the actual one is. I think it has a dummy load with a gearbox and everything in the back here. And the ones I have seen, I was saying like a bag of bolts. They don't sound very good engineering. So, yeah, dummy mode. Hmm. Yeah, not uh, not blown away by that one, but uh, you can't win them all, can you? But, uh, we've got whether the crane is posable, I don't. That's fairly stiff. Don't risk it. So, yeah. No NEM pockets either, so I can't take the uh, continental couplings off it. So, yeah, that will be living in a siding somewhere with some other maintenance away equipment. Seems there doesn't seem to be a very good representation of that for the British market. The finale is two MGR hopper vans or hopper wagons, the R249s, six pounds and seven pounds each, which is about what I generally pay for them and not the ludicrously ten to fifteen to twenty pounds that people seem to think they're worth on eBay, even though the newer ones have got a uh, them fitting in them and that's about the only bloody difference but they're all intact buffers couplings are all there they just need the usual modification to stop them doing this which rather than glue them I will just use a bit of silicone sleeving slipped over the uh, whiskers there pull them taut and an HEA full of lead shot by the looks of it to give it some Badly needed weight. I've just tried the ones over there, and it's they're they're not even as good as the old mainline Backman ones. Similar sort of range, and they've got this dummy weight in here with a hopper, which is just nowhere near heavy enough. This one's probably a little bit on the heavy side, but uh, I'm sure in a rig it won't be too much an issue. But there is. One of these wheels is dragging, so I think it's out of gauge but that was eight pounds I just checked the set of three was 24 pounds which they're 34 pound on eBay as a start an opening bid <laughs> which is why I bought them as opposed to going on eBay because these just aren't sensible money so that is it overall not too bad a few disappointments but uh, on the whole, okay. Uh, but yeah, I think concluding this year, although this will probably be out in 23, um, I've spent a sizable chunk of money with hands. Um, won't be repeating it in 2023. So yeah, we are sort of reaching... Um, to get, I hope you can hear my stomach gurgling away. Dinner time. Yeah, it was, I need a few more of these, a few more of them. Uh, PGAs and PTAs, we're, we're there. So, uh, you know, yeah, we are winding it in on the purchases and uh, on the finance side of it as well. I have spent my meagre little pension pot. It wasn't worth having as a pension. Mind you, neither the other ones. <laughs> you need to earn three times your salary. One for your pension, one for your taxes and cost of living, and one just to live. But, uh, yeah, reality's not like that. 